Welcome everybody. Hold on, let me not. Got to make sure that door closes nice. Welcome everybody to Boca Raton. We are here in the gated community of Boca Bridges which, with mansions all around. And what's beautiful is that all the mansions, they all kind of look different. And this particular mansion we have behind us is brand new construction with just under 8,000 square feet of living space, four car garage, as you can tell, a beautiful Ferrari, which is also for sale. And this is all for just under $8.9 million. So without further ado, let's go on and tour this beauty. Come on in, let's go. to the property, I wanna, I wanna emphasize the outside. I wanna show you what's going on. You got a two car garage here with the beautiful garage door and a second two car garage over here with a $600,000 Ferrari that's also for sale. All right, then you have this walkway, this path, beautiful limestone leading up to the front door, the massive front door, landscaping. And my favorite part are these massive, humongoid impact glass windows and the, obviously the door is beautiful too but it goes all the way up so when you walk in you're about to see in a second it's kind of all open and lofty and airy right it feels very nice and airy love the stone the gray stone accent with the wood accents on the exterior as well it is stunning so now let's go inside Welcome to your modern mansion. As you enter, you have this unbelievable foyer entry, extremely high ceilings, I'd say about 30 feet. You have this staircase that's like a piece of art, this floating staircase with the wood floors, unbelievable. And then you're looking straight out to an infinity edge pool that has a canal right behind it. So you're seeing water on water. You have this living space here that you have a view of the 16 foot glass sliding telescopic doors that dun 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 open up to make that indoor outdoor experience so lovely and sweet, right? So living space here, the entrance foyer way there, living, and this, I'm gonna call this the media area. Let's call this the media wing, right? Because here is where you're gonna entertain. You have your friends and your family over, you're playing pool. I'm betting you a hundred bucks you can't beat me. Don't test me, I'm a professional. Psych, not. <laughs> but pool table here, great place to entertain. You have the wet bar over here for the drinks, the ice. Over here you have an office. If you wanna close the deal in here and then entertain them here or entertain them first, get a couple drinks and then close the deal. But here is where you're gonna spend a lot of time entertaining your guests. And of course here you also have those massive 16 foot glass doors that open up and go out to the entertaining space here as well. So right down here, you're entertaining, you're having fun. Right here, you could do a huge wine cellar right here, or a fish tank, or whatever floats your boat. You do a really nice glass one that has lights, and it'll be a beautiful buffer between the media area and the living space. So let's work our way down over here. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, that's like an awkward, what, 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 peekaboo, I see you, over here is the two car garage, one of the two car garages. And what's real neat is that you'll notice in the other one as well, you have this, which is like a mud room, right? A mud room here for you to take off your shoes and you know store some things if needed to before you enter your home. I mean, you have these beautiful porcelain floors. You don't wanna get them dirty, do you? <laughs> Come on, work our way over here into the one of the most important areas of the house, okay? Here you have your formal dining room Okay, formal dining room, and right there to your left, you have a little bar area or a little prep area for this dining room, right? So dining room here, great size. I mean, this fits two, four, five, 10, 12 people fit here. And then you have the nice impact windows here. You can maybe get creative on this side, do like a water feature or something 
to have a nice view to look out to, right? So now we're gonna zoom on this way, shall we? I, lo I, I love those transitions, it's so cool. It's like, maybe next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing them like, like a dance every time I come out in a corner. But obviously the dining is right off of your kitchen. You have wolf appliances, everything is wolf. Ow! Gas cooktop. Okay, gas cooked up over here. You have the pot filler, gold pot filler, beautiful. Love how they put the countertops in black over here and they put it up along the wall as well. And then you have this to give it more, this color here of the quartz to make it a nice warmer feel in the middle, right? And this kind of blends in with the countertop, the, the cabinet colors as well. You have two dishwashers here. You have that cooktop we just mentioned, the sink overlooking the view of the canal, beautiful, double, oven over here so you can have two turkeys in Thanksgiving and then you have Miele refrigerator beautiful they're gonna be putting a panel on it just like this one as well over here you have another prep area and this is off of the kitchen and off of the dining rather as well which is nice so you can maybe have some things prepped here too microwave here and this is pretty cool you'd think oh and maybe just put some plates and cups yeah right you thought you thought even George just went what wow this is huge huge pantry space over here with these like hidden doors that are like flush and you would never even think there was something so large look at that soft close to the max all right now come down out over here this is your family room this is one of my favorite uh, floor plans right that you have a kitchen there which by the way I didn't point this out and I want to because this is really cool the kitchen it has this built-in breakfast nook which is unbelievable unbelievable it's beautiful i love that when it goes lower and it comes out so nice look at how it was done it's remarkable and then over here as we were talking about before is the family room now the family room here what i love when mentioning the layout is that you have the kitchen with the family room so anybody who's cooking you're cooking the food, you're still involved with conversations, you can still watch the movie, you can still talk, you know, and just, it feels right. It's nice open and airy, so that's how it's supposed to feel. And then out over here, you have these double doors, massive, again, 16 feet, that go out to your outdoor area. There is a cabana bath right over here to the left, a large cabana bath, which would also be like a guest bathroom as well for people in the kitchen area, but this out here, is where you're gonna grill some burgers or grill some veggie burgers. How about we do some, uh, some, someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Okay, all right, you're not here to listen to me sing. You're here to look at a beautiful property. Now, look at this beautiful wood framing around this beam here. Again, the contrast in colors, the grays, the whites, and the browns, right? Which is beautiful, and they have a lot of tans. I love that. Here you have the pool, large pool with an area and the like beach entrance over there. And then you have the jacuzzi here and another area on the side of each of the jacuzzi to sit down and relax. But it's nice, you have the utmost privacy back here. You don't have a house directly behind you. You have just pure vegetation and the canal, which is extremely peaceful. Over there, we can go to the living space with these doors all the way open or here we could go to the kitchen family room right so we're going to go to the living space you notice the limestone flooring that was in the front is also back here as well it's just that indoor outdoor feel is unlike anywhere else all right now i do want to oh that's right is it recording right now okay so now before we go upstairs we do have to point out a bedroom that is down here, right? You have six bedrooms, one of them being downstairs. Over on this side over here, this is the dining here. You'll have the elevator, which goes to the second floor. Beautiful elevator. This is that little prep area that I mentioned to you, right off of the dining. And then you have one bedroom over here with its own bathroom, and you have the powder room here as well, the half bath for your guests. And also, you have a laundry room down here, nice size. And you also have a two car garage, the other, the second two car garage, and that mud room as well. So this space over here is great. But now, we gotta go to the upstairs. And the last thing we're gonna see is 
the master suite because it is so sweet, you're gonna want to spend a third of your life there. Let's go upstairs. Oh, but before we do that, look at the art. I got distracted, I'm so sorry. Look at that. Look how cool that is, it's like endless. It's like a hole, I don't even know if you could see it. The art here is just awesome. You see that? Yeah. That's wild. It's, but look, it's not that far deep, it's just like that. Art, art. Okay, now let's go upstairs. Oh no, wait, but wait, I just like, catch. Wait, oh, this. Okay, all right, that's enough. The joke was done. Now we are upstairs. As soon as you walk up your floating staircase, you're greeted with this beautiful family room right here. It's a large room to hang out, Netflix and chill with the family. Because at night, maybe you wanna just say, hey, let's watch some Netflix, okay? Let's hang out right here. That's where it's gonna happen. And then you can go to the balcony and overlook the pool and the canal, amazing views. Now upstairs, there are five bedrooms, okay? Over on this wing of the house, we have three ensuite bedrooms, very large. Two of them have like little nooks for like a desk or something like that. They're great space. They put the carpet in there because when you wake up in the morning, you want your toes to be touching carpet. You know what I mean? So if like you have carpet in the bedroom, sometimes you wanna wiggle your toes in the morning, right? Right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, now that's three of the bedrooms over on this side. Okay, and then over on the other side, over here, we have the other bedroom, the master suite, and a laundry room. Now, just so you know, the elevator that we saw downstairs comes right up here, okay? It's a beautiful elevator. Right? And then over here, you have one bedroom, which they have this flooring on it because they're gonna make it a gym, but it could be anything. It could be a bedroom, it could be a gym, it could be like an extension of the master, it could be whatever you want and it has its own bathroom and a balcony. And then over here, you have a laundry room upstairs. So yes, you have two laundry rooms. Big ones too. This is amazing. That way you don't have to take your clothes up and down stairs, right? Because who wants to do that? Now, what you've been waiting for, over here is the grand master suite, okay? Long hallway down to the bedroom. On the way there, on the right side, we have two large walk-in closets. And then right over here to the left, you have the beautiful bathroom, okay? Of course, double vanity. This is your area for vanity and your makeup station. Love this gray tile throughout that they put in the shower as well with the gray faucets. I love it, gray chrome, very, very nice faucets. And of course, the rain shower. You have your tub here, standalone tub, very unique shape with the gray chrome. I love that. I Love that. Of course, each of you, your significant other, you don't share your toilet. Each individual toilet rooms, wapow. Over here is that second vanity that we saw. And then down over here, we come out to the hallway where the entrance is. Got a cool built out there. The closets are going to be built out like that too. Uh, then you have here a bar, a wet bar, right? So at night, you can put some drinks in here. You can put a little chips and stuff. Maybe you don't wanna ever leave the room for that Sunday that you just wanna stay and watch TV. That's fine, you can do that. You have everything here. Really nice, I love this countertop, it's so nice too. And then obviously this is off of the den area, right? Your, your relaxing area, your zen area, maybe an area where you watch TV. You have a TV up here, maybe it's your library where you read. Maybe you want to put a Peloton here, work out, get some workouts in the morning. Whatever it is you want to do, you have this space to work with right here in your master. And then you have this wall that divides your den from your sleeping area, your sleeping quarters, right here where you're going to spend a third of your life with beautiful big impact doors that lead out to a massive Terrace, right here you wake up in the morning and you're looking at that canal view. We come out over here, massive terrace here, covered, partially covered. 
and then you're overlooking the canal and your pool area. But this here, you put some seating, some lounge chairs. You're gonna hang out here. Maybe this is where you have your cup of coffee in the morning, All right, This is where you're gonna hang out. But it's a great space. I love this space. And if you notice too, throughout the home, you have that warmth. So it's modern, but it's not that cookie cutter modern. It's a warm, inviting modern. Now that, that's the end of the tour. So now let's go back down. And that's the end of the tour. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much to Eddie and Christina with the Rod team at Compass for letting us tour this beautiful modern masterpiece. Make sure you go down, you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next tour. As you know, we're doing these tours every single week and they're only getting better. If you're interested in this property or any property in South Florida, reach out to me, YouTube at JonathanMVega.com. I'd love to help you find what you're looking for. Maybe this is it right here, right? See you next week. Peace. Psych made you think.